What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Now, this is my 100th video. I've just broken the 2000 subscriber mark and we have some mallets to give away. So let's do it. Roll the intro. So here we are, video number 100 and just broken the 2000 subscriber mark which is fantastic so the channel is continuing to grow and we're also in the middle of storm kira so if the workshop blows away it would make for some interesting content it won't be too much fun for me but uh, yeah it, it's kind of wild and windy so if you hear some wind noise that's it there's a storm outside but yeah it's come a long way since my first video in my little garden shed and uh, now i have my workshop which was a bit of a dream come true and the channel is growing as well which is fantastic so you guys really seem to be enjoying the content i think it's come up bit of a ways since my very first video. Hello and welcome back to the shed. I am man in shed or man in a shed, something like that. I'm still not sure what I'm going to call this YouTube channel yet but uh, thanks for watching and thanks for being here. And today I just want to give um, a little bit more in-depth look into this custom strat that I put together. Unfortunately I decided to start a YouTube channel after I built the strat and I didn't get any video footage of the build but I have some I have some photos and some pictures that I can roll in during this video just to give an idea of what I've done. Um, yeah, so I think there's been a marked improvement between video number one and video 100 and hopefully the content will continue to get better and the editing and everything else will get better as well. So between video 100 and video 1000, uh, yeah, we should see a marked improvement. And I'm studying how to use these cameras, how to get good picture quality, how to get better sound quality, how to use the editing software, which is very technical stuff. And... Uh, Bit by bit, I am growing the skills in this too, as I am with the woodworking and the wood turning. So my very first video, I just used a camera phone and I would recommend any of you guys who want to get into YouTube and just start, turn on that camera phone, hit record and share whatever it is you are interested in. You will find like-minded people to join you on that journey. And you can always grow the equipment as the channel grows, which is what I intend to do. Now, we also have some hammers to give away in this video. So I've put everybody's name in this box. So everybody who has named their mallet in that video where I turned these mallets have been entered into this box. It's a bit low tech, like I said, but uh, we'll give it a shake and we pull out some names in a minute. But for now, we'll do some more channel update stuff. So with regards to channel and where I want to take this, I certainly want to get bigger and better woodworking projects. I want to develop my skills as a woodworker and now as a wood turner. One of the things I've really enjoyed in the last few months is wood turning. Since I bought that lathe, I have thoroughly enjoyed making things on this. A really satisfying feeling about putting a piece of wood on the lathe and turning it into something right before your eyes. And when you take it off, it's almost complete. So that's really satisfying. So I'm gonna think, I'm gonna make some lamps. I still have some of that spotted beach. So I wanna make a few lamps out of that and uh, mix the electrical stuff with the woodworking stuff. So that'll be an upcoming video. I also have a computer desk inside in the house where I do all my video editing. So I wanna make that into a live edge table. So we'll uh, upscale some cheap furniture. We we'll do a few projects like that coming up as well. And I really enjoyed um, taking old furniture and repurposing it, upcycling it, I think they called it. So I made this tool cabinet and uh, you can see the dehumidifier is working away in here. For any of you who want to see this video, go back and check it out. I'll leave a link up here, but it's just to keep my tools rust free and that dehumidifier is doing the job. But I took an old TV stand that was made of oak that was being uh, thrown out and turned it into a tool cabinet and a sanding station. So that was really enjoyable as well. It was something nice about recycling the furniture. So we're definitely going to do more of that. So with regards to the workshop, the machines and tools themselves, in the near future, I do intend to add some more tools to the shop, maybe some more machines. I'm thinking about adding or plumbing in a dust extraction system, something that will work with the lathe, the bandsaw, the drill, the pillar drill, my planar thickness or something that I don't have to keep wheeling around my record power dust extractor. So that'll be an upcoming video. I want to upgrade the bandsaw at some stage. It might not happen this year. We'll see how it goes. I'm also contemplating already upgrading the lathe to a slightly bigger one just to turn some bigger bowls. Now, everybody warned me when I said I was getting delayed to make sure I buy a bigger one because you'll outgrow a small one pretty quickly. But uh, there is nothing wrong with this lathe. It's actually a fantastic lathe. It's the Record Power DML 320. It has plenty of power, plenty of features, and it's really well made. 
but I'm thinking about getting a bigger one. Now, it may or may not happen by the end of the year. We'll see how things pan out. I also want to add a track saw. That's something I'm definitely going to get in the near future. And I need a sharpening system for my chisels, for my lathe. I still haven't got that sorted yet, but that will be an upcoming video. When I finally make a decision on the sharpening system I'm going to go for, I will do a video on it. I'll do a review on it, and we'll give a demonstration on it. And uh, I've been talking to some wood turners and some professional wood turners, and they've been giving me some advice. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what the budget will allow and uh, like I say we'll make a video on it so yeah I will be adding some new machines we will definitely have some upcoming tool reviews coming up so I have a few new tools coming and uh, we'll do a review of those and some unboxings that will be in the near future we might plumb in the next dust extraction system and if we can if the budget allows we will upgrade a few machines as well so that's the workshop and the tools now, as regards the YouTube channel itself, it is really starting to grow. I've just broken the 2,000 subscriber mark, which is absolutely fantastic. It took me eight months to get my first to my first thousand, and then it's only taken a little over a month to add another thousand. And I think it's already like at 2,030 as I make this video. So it literally went 2,000, 2,030. So there's 30 in the last couple of days. So that's fantastic, and it's really starting to grow. And the bigger it gets, the more stuff I will be able to do. And uh, hopefully this workshop will still be here because it is blowing a storm. We'll continue on. So yeah, as, as this channel gets bigger, um, hopefully the projects that I'm able to do in this channel gets bigger too. So as it generates a little bit of income, I'll be able to cover some of the expenditure of these videos and make some better content for you guys. So to everybody who has subscribed so far, thanks very much. All the new subscribers, welcome along. Hope you're all doing well. To all my existing subscribers, I see the same bunch of guys who will always comment in all my videos, and I really appreciate it. It's, it's good to have uh, some feedback from you guys. It's good to have some honesty, and uh, yeah. I really enjoy it. I'm really enjoying making these videos. It's a great hobby to have, and uh, hopefully it continues. So let's get on with this mallet giveaway. Let's do it. Right, let's do this draw for these mallets before the workshop blows away. Now, I have three mallets here. We have a maple handle, a sapili handle, and a ash handle. And I think the best thing to do is the first person that gets drawn out will get first pick of which mallet they want. The next person then will have to pick up the last two, and the third guy will have to settle for whatever mallet is left over. I think that's the fairest way of doing it. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll draw the names out of this little dovetail box that I made. I'll give it a shake up. We'll pull a name out of it and I will leave a comment under your comment where you commented on this video to say that you've won. And then you can contact me through my email, which if you go onto my channel and onto my bio, you will find an email address associated with my YouTube channel. You can hit me an email. Now I'm relying on your guys to be your honesty in this one. So make sure that you are the actual person that uh, has commented on the video. I will then endeavor to get these mallets to ye as quick as I possibly can. Once I have everybody contacted and everybody has picked the mallet they want, I should be able to pop them in the post and get them to you wherever ye are. So yeah, of course, all your details, nothing will be kept. Your emails will not be shared with anybody. Everything will be deleted as soon as this competition is over. So ye do not have to worry there. Right, so let's get on with this. Now, it's pretty low tech. I've just wrote your name and the name of your mallet on a piece of paper. The printer broke down as I was about to do this, and uh, so I had to just use pencil just to write your names down. So without further ado, let's give this a shake up. And I suppose I should look away when I'm doing this. We keep it as fair as we possibly can. Okay, I think we have one there. We do indeed. So let's see, first out of the box. Ben Corfi, and he would name his mallet Hammer Mac Hammer Face. So there's Ben's name. Hopefully that'll come out on the camera. Ben Corfi, I hope I'm saying your name right. I will probably butcher everybody's name now, but uh, forgive me guys. But yeah, Hammer Mac Hammer Face. There you go, Ben, you have the first choice. So I will message you and uh, you can pick which one you want, the maple, the ash, or the sapili. Next person out. We have one there we do. That's a single one. It is Tucker Bryan, and he would name his mallet Mikey the Mallet. So, Tucker, you are our Trucker Bryan. Sorry, Tucker, Trucker Bryan. I can't even read my own writing. That'll tell you how bad it is. Uh, Mikey the Mallet. So, you have second choice of the remaining mallets. And last, but certainly not least, and this will be the for the final mallet. Let's give it a mix up, open it up, look away. Try and get one out. If I 
can as a single one it is yeah okay and this is Martin Freeborn and he would call his mallet Wreck-It Ralph so here we go Martin Freeborn here we go so we have trucker Brian Mikey the mallet we have Martin Freeborn Wreck-It Ralph and we have Ben Corfi Hammer Mac Hammer face which is a pretty good name for a mallet in my book. So there you go, there's the three guys. I will contact you guys, I will message you under where you have commented on this particular video, and then if you guys just pop me an email, send me your details, and I will get these in the post to you. Right guys, there we go, that has been video 100. I've just broken the 2000 subscriber mark, which is absolutely fantastic, and we've given some mallets away to some subscribers as well as a way of saying thank you. So yeah, it's been pretty good so far on YouTube, and I'm grateful for everybody who has subscribed so far, and as I try to grow this channel, I'm gonna set myself a target of 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We'll see if I can grow the channel to that much, but I'm gonna try and make some content worthy of having that many subscribers. So set a goal, try and hit it. That's what I'm going to try and do this year. And uh, we'll see if we fall short, at least if we aim high and jump far, we land farther than we do if we set a small goal. So set a big goal of 10,000 subscribers and we'll see how we get on. Now, if any of you guys want to support this channel, there are links in the description below to my Amazon affiliate um, account. It's uh, just links to tools and stuff I use in the workshop. If you click on those links and if you want to buy one of those tools, it doesn't cost you anything extra and it gives me a few pence towards the channel and even if you don't want to buy those tools and you want to buy something else on amazon just use one of those links to get there and uh, i'll get a couple of pence from the or a couple of cents from the transaction and just the way you guys can support this channel without it costing you guys anything only a click of a button so yeah there we go links to everything will be in the description thanks to everybody who has subscribed so far video 100 video 101 coming soon as we jump back into some more woodworking projects so take it easy guys Look after yourselves and I shall see you in the next one. Take it easy.